Greetings YouTube and welcome to Chapter 9 of Land of the Night. Alright, in the underground prison of Grand Noah Castle, we saved Tasa, but the, mag the demon castle, to Romanza, got summoned into this world. So we've got these nightmares all attacking us, but some new allies. Now we need to escape out of the demon castle somehow. Yeah, let's try to cut the the, the nightmares with the sword again. That won't work. Why don't you pierce me with something else? Oh yeah, we get what that means. And trust me, Les is too stuck up for that. As expected, it's not working. Les, that's what you're called? You need to specialize in support here. Right, I got it. Unlike Nobisa and Rawls, he doesn't have any sex battle powers. <laughs> Let's play! So still more Niners are showing up. There's still more coming. At the very least, do it three at a time, okay? Well, they're polite to agree to that. Let's get the hell out of here. Not that I'm really going to be focusing too much on the specifics here. No, yeah. I'll do this properly. In here somewhere he should she should have some. Alright. Just this last one, huh? At least it hits all the enemies. Luvisa has Gungnir. And Ralse. He's not really worth too much either. Daimyomi and Luvisa should be able to handle it with their skills alone. Now it well, we're doing pretty well. We cut their numbers down a bit. Just a little longer. Uh oh. Looks like we've been hit with status effects. How oh, nice. Oh, good job, Lavisa. Ah, working for free all this time. I wonder if I can find anyone who can reward me for this. Eyes on the prize, Daimyomi. There's just a few more left. Everybody do your best. And don't get put to sleep this time. There we go. There you go. That's how it works. <laughs> that felt good. After a tough fight, we finally fought off all of the nightmares. Defeating that many enemies, though, we've got some encouraging companions with us. Well, we weren't able to stop the summoning of the Demon Castle, but we've got two more heroes with us, so we're lucky on that front. But this situation is bad. We're deep in the underground of the Demon Castle, and we're alone with, with the few numbers. We're alone and few in number. We've managed to ride out the first wave of enemies, but there's certain to be more coming to attack us. Before we get chased into a corner, we need to escape here. Masters of Conversation. Ralsa Nobisa 
nod wordlessly. Although they're unusually quiet, they really are a powerful force. Hey, you two. Aren't your personalities kind of redundant? Hey, don't be rude. Come on, let's go. I think we're just gonna have to rely on Daimyomi for the comedy around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we better escape quickly. So, we're deep in the demon castle, and it's going to be quite a difficult fight getting out of here. Nothing to do but continue on your working together. But more importantly, we need some job changes here. Both Daimyomi and uh, Luvisa were players because I needed to get them to work in counter reduction. But now I'm going to give them better jobs. Like this one with, that gives them tons of MP. Although with the encounter reduction we have, we don't need to worry about any encounters until the boss, which, spoiler, isn't a nightmare, so we don't need to worry about it. So, fox statues. They're blocking our way. We need to talk to them from the tail. You know what, I'm just gonna fill most of my party with berserkers. Since we don't need to worry about Hell, I will make all of us Berserkers. No, we, only the guys currently qualify for the Berserker. Yeah. You need Warrior, and the three girls don't have Warrior to get Berserker. So I guess we'll just have three Berserkers in front and the girls in back. Oops. Here we go. Three Berserkers and Daimyo me. That'll work. Okay, we found the first thing I wanted to show. Alright, we go left here. But, unbeknownst to anybody, there's just a hole in the wall here. I don't think it's particularly important, but I wanted to show it to you. Shooting Star Helmet. Okay, great, whatever. I think it's a bit unfair for them to just put a hidden door without any indication. Later we'll see some that are easy to spot. There are probably some I don't know about down here, in fact. Which is a pity. Here's one. Uh, golden hero ornament. I think I've got like a million of those with my regular party. Anyway, we can stay up here or we can jump down. Here, it looks like there's an elevator. But we can't go down. Elevator's not in place, I guess. Not on this floor. Uh, anyway, we don't need to be going down. We're trying to run away upwards. Yeah, our priority now is escape. Feels like there's something down below us, but... Right now we don't have the time to be exploring the castle. By the way, a little something is bothering me. At our feet is a luxurious carpet that... A, cup, a carpet so luxurious I'd like to take it home with me. From this carpet, if you went directly downwards... Look, there's nothing but a wall. So what about it? Hey, hey, hey. Think about it. 
Well, consider it. Hmm? Oh, another. Sh Princess God. <laughs> this is suitable to, is a staff suitable to me. It's a princess guard, isn't it? How could you look at it and say it's suitable to you? In that case, then who is the prison princess around here? You? Are you a princess? Are we going to really have this fight? Well, that's not exactly the case, though. Well, if we're going to say princess, maybe it's suitable to me? No matter how you consider it, that isn't right either, succubus. Look, you aren't... Yeah, you aren't even a magic user in the first place. If you're going to be having a fight, why don't I take it? Huh? Les, you're, you want to be a princess too? Uh, no. I was going to take it and, and get, present it to Princess Ri Richia, I was thinking. Oh, a present for the princess, huh? Hmm, that's how it is, is it? No, never mind, forget about it. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of Les. Well, can't say he doesn't deserve it. All right, up around here we got a couple of shops. There's not much to be said for him, but you guys remember these fox statues. And with this, we can return back to the room we started in this chapter. But proceeding onward is this way. You three are. <laughs> We've come out here to exterminate some mice. And. Looks like we have some familiar faces here, don't we? But there are a lot of them that we don't know. And they all look so tasty. You two, we didn't come here to play. We've come here to take the lives of intruders. These three... Are they from the Alliance or something? Yes, and they're pretty strong. It might be best for us to run here. It's true. Even fighting just one of them is pretty tough. If we fought them all three at once, We'd definitely get wiped out. Hey, hey! You just plan on running away? Come on, play with us. Don't look back! We need to run away now. We need to only run away now. <laughs> wait up, wait up! Alright. Run away from the three. Hey. Demon Sword Sisters is what they're called. The three Demon Sword Sisters. If you're caught, it's game over. That was quick. It looks like they're not chasing us. Did we shake them? I can't think that they would give up that easily. Certainly, they're waiting for a better opportunity to attack. We've got to be cautious as we continue onward and escape from this demon castle just as soon as possible. Oh no, that's not the way I want to go. Not much to see here, but this nightmare tells us the treasure of the treasure room 
is at the intersection of the statue's gazes. It was written here, but for some reason you can't read it anymore. Since the castle's been transported to this world, there have been a lot of changes. The traps have disappeared and the gargoyles don't move. Well, her observation about the castle in general isn't too interesting, but the treasure room bit we'll need to remember later. There's a hole here. Pretty deep. We better not jump in here without preparation. Yeah, don't jump in holes. All right. Have some... Be sure to entertain me. Geez, she's like a wild bull. If it's just one of her, then maybe we can fight our way through? Nope, let's run away. This is troublesome. Alright. Orgotus is going to chase us now. If we're caught, it's a vi then she's going to fight us. I wonder if it was on a difficulty other than very easy, they would, their behavior would change for these segments. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, play with me. We don't have time to be playing with kids. So obviously they're, the game is uh, guiding us towards that hole we just said we didn't want to jump into. No, it might not be that bad to defeat her here. Since there's just one of them, we should be able to fight our way through. Uh, yep, she's an optional. Again? Uh, I didn't really test her out in my trial run, so that was a surprise. Bye-bye. Or you can do that. All right, it looks like we fought our, we managed to run our way, our, managed to run away this time. But they'll come again for sure. Nothing to say about that. Now, if you did go and jump in the hole, you'd come out in the room below here. And if you got to step on the next tile, I get a scene that isn't very important. But then you would come out here right next to where Orgotus was. And if you encounter her again, you won't see anything, because she's gone. And look at this, a fox statue. But for some reason, we're coming at it from this side. You may recall this is where we saw the Demon Sword Sisters the first time. We didn't get high enough to actually see the fox statue, though. Oops, I want to go this way. Because here's the treasure room we talked about. We're just loaded with treasure around here. Alright, was called to the deep. This mimic was called to the. into the. Dr called here in her dreams. But in the end, she's just hanging around. shutting herself in. So all of these are mimics, probably. I haven't tested all of them, except this one at the intersection of two gazes. It contains the shooting star armor. You might say this is at the intersection of two gazes, but it isn't. It's a mimic. You might want to open all of them, but that's up to you and it would take a lot of time for me, so I'm going to leave them with just the shooting star armor. Over here, ah, oh, just another treasure chest. Shooting star shield. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna save right here because it needs to be done. Because this is it. All right, already, you need to give up. How about you give up? 
Jeez, give us a break. All right, three of them at once. We don't have a way to win. We need to run. Again, the three of them are chasing us. If we get caught, game over. And again, with an invisible barrier keeping them away from us. What is going on here? Enemy reinforcements? No. Could you be on our side? <laughs> More heroes have shown up. Is this, this is an extended menu, isn't it? So we've got this bizarre group fighting on this floor. And on several of their hands, the collab proof is shining. You guys too. Could you be otherworldly heroes? Yeah. And you as well? Over there, there are three heroes. With this, there's six. Hey, don't be looking away. Do you really have time to be looking away? Yeah, these girls are tough to fight, aren't they? These three succubi are incredibly powerful. But we might have the excess ourselves to be helping. No, oh, we caught up. Huh? What's up with this ruckus? So some other mice. Yeah, they've joined up with some other mice. It seems. I don't know how this is, but I'm getting fired up. Come on, let me fight too. Pressure point, light palm. Oh. You've clashed with my attack? This is interesting. Hey, let me play too. Well then. I'll play with you as much as you like. What are you doing all of a sudden? Playing? Duh. We've cut. This is a completely chaotic le melee. I wanted to crush you before it came to this. Without your little sisters, you can't fight. Isn't the case we can expect here, is it? So, Luvis is challenging Mistletane just a bit here. But we might be able to fight her off if it's just her. All right, let's go. If we go with the flow here, we could defeat Mistletane. You're underestimating me, aren't you? Even if it's just me myself, it will be simple to defeat all of you. And I guess just our little group she's talking about. Mistletane is strong. Don't let your guard down. I'll show you no mercy. You're all going to be falling here. Yeah, since she isn't a nightmare, this berserk system should finish her off pretty quickly. Without release, this just might burn my palms. These otherworldly, these heroes from other worlds aren't too shabby. Give up already, Mistletane. It looks like the battle, the tide of battle is turning in our favor. On the other hand, the other party is 
also. Yeah! <laughs> over here, over here! Of course, music is fast enough to dodge out. Eat this! Heh, <laughs> just one after the other. How noisy! Muska in her stepping back, stepping back to avoid one, and the next, at one point, as soon as she touches ground, a binding technique activates. Muska! Eh, what is this? Yeah! <laughs> you let your guard down in the middle of the battle. I laid a trap right over from there. Daimyomi. You were called as well, huh? To think that we would be cooperating here. I don't remember cooperating with you at all. I did, for my own reasons, join up with these people. That being the case, I've caught one of them. Come on, give up. Well, well, this has become a troublesome thing. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. If I lash out just a l if I lash out seriously, then I can break out of this. Jeez, no way! She's going to break the seal circle from within. Stop that, Miska. Don't do anything rash. Why, Grandma? Something like this. I can get out of by myself. And I'm now getting pretty irritated. Let's make a deal, heroes. In exchange for releasing Muska, what do you want? Huh? This was really unexpected. She's offered us a deal. So, the opponents on both sides come to a stop, and the battle room grows quiet. Hey, what are you doing of your own initiative? Shh. Okay. Let's watch what goes down here. A deal, you say? On both sides, we're sizing up the other's faces carefully. The first to open her mouth is the girl who called herself the Mao. Although, from the perspective of the protagonist of this chapter, we didn't hear her say that. But she's cool enough. Alliance members, we want you to pull out. A extension of this chaos is unprofitable to both sides. In any case, you Alliance members, uh, yourselves, are in a situation of keeping each other in check. I'm not seeing them deny it. And it's true. The Venom group and the Mistletang group aren't taking any coordinating actions here. In fact, quite the contrary. Both sides be, seem to be cautious of the other. Between these two groups, 
If they saw an opening, would they try and crush the other? Very well. If that's your condition for our retreat, then... Wait. I'd like to add one more. Give to us the collab proof that Muska has. Muska has a collab proof? And now the majority of participants take a look and learn for the first time. It's true. On the back of Muska's hand, the crest in question is there. A transfer of the collab proof. You can do that? Muska stole it from the person from whom it the person to whom it should have belonged. In the same way, I think she should be able to give it. You want this strange quark crest? Well, it's not a cute, so I guess it's okay. Alright then, under those conditions, let's have a deal. Our retreat and the relinquishing of that crest. Yeah, okay. So, who should I give it to? Well then, transfer it to Luca. He's a hero of this world, so he should have the qualifications to accept it. Eh? Me? Yes, you. A hero of this world, Luca. Please, accept the collab proof. With this, it'll be that all seven of the heroes are joined together. Please accept it. I understand. So then, the proof to me, then. Alright, it's you, then. Hey. Muska carelessly throws a ball of energy. And if receive and by receiving it, Luca. This is the back of my hand is hot. So then the glowing collab proof on the back of the hand. Just the same as the other heroes, it floats to the surface of his skin. So then, we'll have you release Miuska. Right. Exorcist, release your binding technique, please. Ha! It's vexing, but... Alright. Daimyomi speaks the words that release it. And Muska and the binding bars are released from Muska. With this, Muska is freed. But, uh, is it really okay? It would have gotten me a bit tired, but I could have broken out on my own power. We can't be uselessly expending our power. Now then, we're leaving. Hmm. I understand, Lady Venom. Come on then. The, you Demon Sword Sisters leave too. Huh. We're not bound by your verbal contract here. No. We will leave. If it's the three of us, do you think we can fight against all of the heroes? 
That m might be a little tough. I understand, Big Sis. I'm starting to hate this alliance with their plotting. And the hero side get along way better, it seems. So then, heroes, if there's an opportunity, let's meet again. Next time, I'm looking forward to seeing you without any obstructions. Is she basically saying that in this circumstance we can't fight all the three of them can't fight all of us themselves, but in the next time they're going to be the three of us against them, and they will? Oh, whatever. As long as you get out of our face, we don't care too much. So, they don't spare a glance for their supposed allies, Vina and her group, and they leave the place. Now then, we'll be leaving too. We put a few too many of our cards on the table, but there's a problem in our coordination. No, even more than that. All of us, if we saw an opening, would be taking each other's necks. So, we're always on the watch for openings of others. For openings on both sides. And this is the result. Heh. <laughs> Being all villains together, you don't get along well, do you? Heh. <laughs> it, it's better than being an ally of justice or whatever. So, let's meet again. Next time we'll eat all of you up. I'll take good care of you. Again. Byakunen. So Venom's group leaves as well. So, only I was called out by name. <laughs> oh. yeah, 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 yeah. You catch the eye of only the weirdest ones, youngling. Anyway, all of a sudden we got so many people here. How about we do some simple introductions? Yeah, that is true. It's good that we've got so many companions. We've the, Our number of companions has increased so much. But being such a large family like this, it's confusing. Well, the situation is, as you can see, so we don't want to take too much time. But if it's simple, we should at least get to know each other a bit. So, the Our Other Worldly Hero Gang exchanges their introductions. And they, all of them, don't seem inferior as fighters. So, with this, the seven world, the heroes of seven worlds have gathered. <laughs> yeah. All of us gathered from seven worlds. This has gotten pretty large scale. I'm still unused to being called a hero. I think of it as an honor. With this, the seven heroes parties have joined. I knew it had to happen. You knew it had to happen. Here it is. It's happening. But 
We've got a surprisingly number of silent types. Our heroes just that type of thing. Well, he doesn't talk much, but he's kind and has a strong sense of justice. That's how Lorat is. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it too. Don't you think that talking with your eyes is a hero-like thing to do? Heroes that don't talk, that don't speak and talk with their eyes. Uh, naturally, once he gets an idea in his head. So Luca, wordlessly, goes to try and talk with his eyes. Enough! Don't you go trying to imitate them too! Hmm, <laughs> well. With this, the group of the seven heroes is formed. Lorat, Kalsia, Bjarkanen, Lest, Rals, Nobisa, and Luca. In order to fight against the Lord of Dreams, we heroes have been called from the other worlds. And these heroes have just now started their fight. Nine chapters in. Anyway, thanks for watching and we will see you next time in chapter 10.